Welcome back to Not So Pro Packer Talk, where we only talk about the Packers. Today, we're going to be talking about the Eagles and Packers matchup uh, this coming Sunday. It's going to be a good one. Uh, th- this is a game that I've been dreading all season long because the Eagles have been the red hot team, best record in the NFL right now. And they are just firing at all cylinders. Jalen Hurts looks good. This defense looks very, very solid. Uh, we have a lot to be worrying about. But I, as always, as always, I believe in the Packers. I believe we can win any type of game, any type of uh, any type of situation. And I believe the Packers can win this game. And I'm going to give you guys my my thoughts about the Packers uh, this this game coming up against the Eagles. Uh, before we get into that, I want to give a quick recap. Uh, this game against the Titans, Thursday night football. I wasn't able to watch the full game. I was actually uh, at work. Uh, I was kind of like walking around with a clipboard um, with my phone, uh, watching the Packer game as I was doing work. Um, just because I, I couldn't, start, I couldn't not watch the game. I'm a, I'm a Packer fan all the way through, so I was just walking around with my phone on my clipboard uh, watching that game. But Man, that was a really disappointing game against the Titans. Uh, coming off that fresh win against the Cowboys, I thought we were going to roll into the Titans, knock them down, and show the whole world that the Packers will were still contenders. Uh, we just didn't do that. Uh, we didn't do that at all. And hey, it's the same reason why I've been saying on every single episode of Not So Pro Packer Talk all year long. Uh, it's because we're not running the ball. It's as simple as that. All right, Aaron Jones got twelve carries. Twelve. How are you going to give that guy 12 carries when he gets 20 plus touchdowns? I forget the exact stat, but our, our, our chances of winning the game skyrocket. I think when he gets 24 touches, uh, we've never lost a game with Aaron Jones. I think, I, th- I think if I'm correct in saying that, but I'm pretty positive that I'm, I'm correct in saying that uh, when we give the guy, that guy a ball, the ball, we win games. And it's plain as simple as that, but, I mean, this coaching staff cannot figure it out. And and just to sum up the the, the Packers right now, um, it we are a team that does not understand our own identity. And to kind of understand that, you might be like, "What do you mean they don't know their identity?" Um, let's look on the opposite side of the ball against the Titans. Uh, the Titans, they are a team that knows their identity. They know who they are, and they're going to stick to who they are. They know they're a run first team. They know that 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 they run through Derrick Henry no matter what. It doesn't matter wh- whether if Derrick Henry is playing good, if they're ru- if they're being effective running the ball, they are going to stay with the run no matter what. They they know what works for them, and they're not going to stop that. Um, and the Packers, on the other hand, we know uh, that Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon need to get the ball, but we don't give it to them. We're stuck in this pass-first mentality of I don't know if it's I think it's a combination of Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers where they just want to pass 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 uh they want to put the ball in Aaron Rodgers hands and we're trying to win the game but we're just not fit for that and it, even if we were fit to that for that you got to still give the ball to Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon they were an amazing running back duo and they're not being able to like showcase what they have with the amount of touches they're currently getting getting Aaron Jones with 12 AJ Dillon with six it 18 carries between the two of them that's not enough we gotta have more um aaron jones needs to have 20 plus carries per game that's it's just a solid fact it needs to be happening um so we are a team that doesn't understand who we are and what is our identity and just trying to fight against it uh and that's on both sides of the ball both sides um the defense joe barry needs to understand that these corners can't be playing nine yards back being off the wide receiver on a third and three. It's a third and three. You get up on that receiver and you play press. I don't care if you're in the zone or whatever. You cannot be playing nine yards back. That is an easy, easy first down for the, for the Titans. It's, it's really frustrating. Um, and that really just, at the end of the day, bullies on the coaching. Um, and I, 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 I still have faith in Matt LaFleur. But he need, I need to see changes moving forward. Uh, it's it's not pretty right now. But th- that's just how I feel about the Packers as far as coming off that game. But let's look ahead, let's stay positive, and let's look talk, talk about the Eagles. All right. Um, I think we are 
I think we can win this game, right? It's going to be tough going to Philly. That is not an easy stadium to play in, and especially when they are winning like this. That that the the p- people of Philadelphia they rally around their sports teams when they are winning, um, and they get crazy, they get loud, and they'll let you know all everything. Um, yeah, the it's not going to be hard. It's going to be very hard to go into Philly and win. Um, but hey, it's the Green Bay Packers, all right? At the end of the day, we still, no matter what our record is, we're still the Green Bay Packers. And I think we can come in and really shock them. And this is how I think we can do it. All right. And it really boils down to coaching. All right. And it's some individual play. Um, Straight off, let's run the dang ball. Come on. I've had it in so many different means, whether it's the blind side, whether it's uh, Bernie Sanders. I'm once again asking you. I've added so many memes into these videos about like, like why are we not running the ball? It doesn't make sense. Run the dang ball. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it again. You got to give Aaron Jones the ball. It's how we're going to win this game. So our best two games looks uh, we, that we had were against the Bears and the Cowboys, and that's when we ran the ball. It's as plain as simple as that. Look at the, look at the film of those two games, and you'll see this is how we are supposed to win. This is how we're supposed to be good. So please, start it off. Here's the game plan. Give Aaron Jones the ball. I don't care how you got to do it. Preferably, yeah, you can do it through the through the air, but give him to give it to him on the ground, please. And then moving forward, um, Aaron Rodgers he he reportedly has a broken thumb. It is not just a messed up thumb, or it just feels weird, or whatever. It is, it is broken, from my belief. Um, uh, there is a uh, kid that went into the Packers facility as a make a wish. And I think his name is big B. Uh, he does. He's a, he's very active on Twitter. Um, and he asked Aaron Rodgers when he was there, because they gave him a full tour of the building that they made a, a let him talk to everybody. Um, and he asked Aaron Rodgers if, uh, it, Hey, is your, what's up with your thumb? And Aaron Rodgers told him reportedly by this kid, uh, that his thumb is broken. Simple as that. So um, Aaron Rodgers on the Pat McAfee show did not confirm or deny that. I think he more confirmed it than denied it, in my opinion. So um, he is playing with a broken thumb, in my opinion, right now, uh, which is not very good, but impressive for what he has been able to do with a broken thumb. Uh, I'm no longer going to harp on uh, or attack Rodgers, in my opinion. I'm not going to attack him anymore because if you're playing with a broken thumb and you're still putting up the numbers he's putting – uh, which aren't like the MVP level that we were used to, but they're still good numbers. I mean, I'm not going to attack you for it, but um, we got to protect him. If he has a broken thumb, we got to be able to protect this guy. And uh, let we got to our pass blocking has to be great, which is going to be really tough against this Eagles front, uh, who just added Ndamukong Sue to their defensive line. That is a scary defensive line from the Philadelphia Eagles. With they just added Ndamukong Sue. They have Linval Joseph. They have uh, Javon Hargrave. They have Fletcher Cotts. They the they have some big bodies up in there, um, and it's going to be a huge challenge for this uh, this Packers offensive line this coming week against the Eagles. They are very good at getting to the quarterback, disrupting plays. Um, they have thirty three sacks on the season. Um, it it is really scary. Um, hopefully, we can hold them up. We have our pass blocking has been much better than in the beginning of the season, but we have got our work cut out for it themselves. Um, and it, so this comes down to in the trenches. I think the biggest thing it comes down to into in the trenches. Uh, it, it doesn't, I, I think our wide receivers can win a few plays. I think Aaron Jones is going to be able to make a few plays. Aaron Rodgers will throw some great balls, but in, in the trenches is where this game's going to be won. Uh, we have to be able to pass block. We have to be able to run block. Uh, and if we're not able to win up there, then this game is lost in my opinion. Uh, so it comes up there. Um, I, I believe in our guys. I believe in the five that we have right now and our starting offensive line. I love ever since we made those changes that I hate, I, I brought up and I was right. And hey, I, I, I'm a pre- I think I could throw my hat in to be a like coach for the Packers. Not, maybe not head coach, but hey, I make, I've been making some pretty good moves, in my opinion, all right? Uh, if you've been following along, I've been making, like, everything we've, like, made changes for, I've kind of, like, hinted at. So, just saying, just saying. Um, hopefully, next year, I'll be the Packer, on, on the Packers coaching, ho- coaching staff. Um, but, yeah, uh, offense, offensive line is looking very, very solid. So, 
Um, and then big key is one of our wide receivers needs to have a big game. Uh, Christian Watson has been the guy of these past two games that has been the big play maker. Uh, Randall Cobb looked really solid last week. Alan Lazard make, didn't look great, uh, did not make the plays that we needed him to make, and that's one of the reasons uh, why we came up short. But he still had a solid game, 57 yards, I think five catches, six catches. Um, so not horrible from him, but at the end of the day, he needs to be better. We need, if he wants to be a wide receiver one and uh, be paid as a wide receiver one, he needs to be making uh, some of these plays. So somebody needs to step up big there, in my opinion. Either the, one of those three, Sammy Watkins, just throw him out on the road. Uh, he's not even a starter on our, our roster anymore. So, yeah, I, I told you guys, he, he he's not good. He, throw him out. Throw him out, please. Um, so that's offense. Defensively, Devontae Campbell, I, I haven't f- fully heard. Uh, by this time this video hurt comes out, we'll probably know more of where he is on his injury. Um, but I think there's a potential that he could play our inside linebacker, all pro first team, all pro linebacker, inside linebacker. Um, and if he plays, that's going to be huge uh, help for us. Um, Quay Walker has filled in well for him, but nobody's filled in well for Quay Walker uh, where he was playing. Um, McDuffie has looked good in some spots and then really bad in other spots. It's been a huge hole for us these past few weeks, um, where the Titans put up a lot of points and also the Cowboys put up a lot of points. So we need to stir up that area. Um, and then Darnell Savage is a absolute liability out there. Um, if the, if the Eagles want to win that they, they need to attack Darnell Savage. Uh, that's the way you win. Don't go after Russell Douglas. He'll pick you off. Jerry Alexander. I mean, he, he he's had better years. He's had better years. Um, but he's still a solid corner in this league. Apparently, Traylon Burks can beat him. But hey, he's still a solid corner in my opinion. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can get healthy, Devontae Campbell. Uh, and then also we got to do something about uh, this Jalen Hurts run game because it is scary right now. I believe he has about. Uh, 400 rushing, 440 rushing yards on the season, and he's has 110 attempts so far. 110, uh, eight touchdowns. This guy runs a lot. And it's going to be the scariest thing for us. And he he also has 15 touchdowns, passing touchdowns, only three interceptions. The dude's playing very efficient football. Uh, that's what that's what I think the big thing about this uh, Philadelphia offense is that they are efficient. Uh, they're averaging eight yards per play. They uh, are great on third down efficiency, 46%. Uh, and then they're great on fourth down. Uh, I believe it's uh, about uh, 58% of efficiency, 70, 72% efficiency. Um, so they're really good. Um, it, 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 we have to be able to uh, stop them on third down, stop them on fourth down. If not, then we're done for it. The hard part about stopping them on third and fourth down is usually the, that's like short yardage situations, and they can just run a QB sneak. Jason Kelsey, Jalen Hurts, they you can't stop those two. It's it's very very tough. Um, so hopefully we can do something about stopping them in the trenches. Uh, Javante Campbell coming back, and then our secondary just needs to play uh, out of their mind. Um, if we lose this game, it's going to be a rough season. And at this point, we're just battling for a draft position because I don't think we can make playoffs if we lose this game. Um, so we got to beat the Eagles somehow in Philadelphia and then move on to the, the Bears, uh, beat them in Lambeau, uh, and then we have a bye week. So, yeah, finally have a bye week ridiculous so late in the season and then, yeah so that's that's right that's how that's how the packers got to beat the eagles all right uh it's gonna be a hard tough game it's not gonna be easy uh if if the packers do win it's gonna come down to the very uh last wire we're not gonna win this by two scores or, or uh multiple points it's gonna be a tight game if we win it uh if we lose it it'll probably be a tight game or we're gonna get demolished in my opinion so Hopefully we can do it. I always believe in the Packers. I always will. Um, as long as we have Aaron Rodgers as our quarterback, never count us out. Never. As, maybe out of the playoffs, but not out of any type of game. All right. Um, but that's all I have to, have to say about the matchup. Hopefully it's a good game. I'm really looking forward to it. It is a Sunday night game. Uh, so that's going to be really exciting. Primetime football. Aaron Rodgers is great in primetime. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, make sure you guys like. 
this video. Subscribe to Not So Pro Football Talk. Uh, that's where we put out all of our content. Uh, we just hit 300 subscribers. We'll be putting out uh, information soon about our giveaway that we'll be doing uh, to, to you fans. So put that out uh, or make sure you guys uh, sign up for that and you can hopefully win something uh, signed autographs uh, memorabilia from an NFL player. So, But other than that, make sure you tune in at 5 p.m. every Wednesday for Not So Pro Packer Talk. And I'll see you guys next time. Go Pack Go!